Hello everyone, it's your girl Jodo Christina here, back with another monthly favorites. If you're new to my channel, my name is Christina and I'm a fashion and beauty blogger here in New York City. I make these monthly favorite videos to feature 5 to 10 of my favorite products during this month. For May, I have 5 beauty products and 5 non-beauty related products that I want to feature. So if you're curious about what products I have found to be exceptional this month, please keep watching. Before we start, I would appreciate it if you could like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I make two videos per week and would love to connect with you all. The first product or brand is Necessaire. If you haven't heard about this brand, you probably have seen it on your Instagram feed. They are a beauty brand that's known for their clean and eco-friendly products. And they received Eco Beauty Awards by Birdie in both year 2019 and 2020. I was first drawn to this product and brand because of their minimalistic packaging and color choices. But as I learned more about the brand, I realized actually they're quite amazing and worth the hype. First of all, they're all about clean beauty. So if you guys don't know, many of the products that we use on a daily basis actually contain harmful ingredients. And Necessaire is all about not including any of these harmful ingredients when they make their products. So that means no paraben, phthalates, sulfates, silicones, petrochemical, drying alcohol, synthetic dye or fragrance, coal tar, chemical screens, and more. This is extremely important because these ingredients are actually damaging to our skin. The second reason I learned to love this brand is that they formulate to a specific pH level that's very natural to your natural pH and barrier function of the skin. So if you don't know what a pH is, pH or potential hydrogen is a scale that runs from 0 to 14 that measures acidity. So anything below 7 is considered very acidic, and anything above 7 is considered alkaline. Surprisingly, the uppermost layer of our skins is naturally acidic. And if we repeatedly use products that are not supporting of our natural pH level, it can be quite damaging. The most common example of this is um, if you were to use like a bar soap or any type of like liquid soap that are not for your face and then it leaves you feeling super dry and that tightening feeling. This is why it's important to use pH balanced skincare products and Necessaire does just that. Finally, they use 100% recyclable packaging and 85% post-consumer waste materials for their shipping boxes. So not only are their products great, but they also care about their waste. Yeah. After learning about this, I bought three of their products and tried them for a month now. I bought their body wash, exfoliant, and body lotion. To be honest, I'm not a super big fan of their body wash, even though it's kind of I just felt like it didn't feel too much different than a normal body wash. But I really enjoy the exfoliant and I absolutely love the body lotion. So these are going to be the main things that I talk about for product number one. The exfoliator, I absolutely loved it because it not only is a physical exfoliant, but it also is chemical. This one contains a very gentle AHA, BHA trio, which means that it has lactic salicylic acid and glycolic that will help gently remove your dead skin cells. I use it almost on a weekly or a little bit more often than that. I feel like this one's much better than the body wash. After I use it, it leaves my skin feeling baby stuffed and all the, you know, that skin kind of removed. And the body lotion, I absolutely loved it because it actually is very similar to the one that I tried and loved back in Korea. Um, I picked up a French brand, just like a body lotion that was safe for like infants. I think the name was like something Enfant. <laughs> but anyways, like for the love of the world, like I just cannot find this brand. Um, so I've been looking for a body lotion that is fragrance free and then it also would last like super long. This literally feels so smooth when it goes on your skin and the moisture actually locks in and it stays forever. It's unlike some of those lotions that you put on and you feel like it's you know, if you, you feel moisturized for a little bit, but then after a couple hours or even just like overnight, you feel super dry and like your skin gets super flaky again. This one, I think either, I don't know, with some magical ingredients that are all listed on the website, but I don't have it memorized in my head, so magical ingredients. It's actually like super, super duper moisturizing. It says right on the bottle itself that it helps moisturize, tone, and strengthen. And it's a fast absorbing daily multivitamin moisturizer for skin health. It's great. Um, and I'm also noticing that it also contains um, vitamin A, B3, C, E, omega 6, and 9. 
Anyways, like this one um, is fragrance free. It's amazing. I pretty much use it on a daily basis and I think the moisture, it lasts forever. So highly recommend this and the exfoliant. Beauty product number two is this Marc Jacobs lip liner. Um, this one is in the color Nudist, but I want to give this product like hype it up y'all. Um, prior to learning about this, I used to only use MAC pencils, lip pencils, and I thought those were like the best options available in the market. But ever since I tried this one, which I, I actually only got to try it for the first time maybe like two weeks ago, I ordered it off Sephora. It was like such a game changer and I don't think I could ever go back to using a MAC lip pencil. So I have like, like a couple MAC lip pencils that are just gonna be laying here guys. The reason I love this so much is because like one, the packaging is so beautiful. I feel like, I don't know, it's just like like this silver metallic packaging with a cap and then like the color of it. And two, um, it goes on super, super, super smoothly. I just feel like I have super dry lips. So whenever I put on MAC lip pencil, I feel like my lips are gonna dry off. Not only are they dry, but they also crack and then they bleed from time to time when they get too dry. Even though I use MAC lip pencils, I noticed that when I put it on, it actually dried my lips even more. Whereas this one by Marc Jacobs, I use it constantly. Now I've, I've been using it every single day and it doesn't dry my lips and it glides on very very smoothly there must be some kind of a like a hydrating or moisturizing in the lip pencil itself and then lastly and most importantly i love this lip pencil because it's retractable so if you've ever used any other type of lip pencil usually they are um you have to sharpen them which you know like it's not a super big deal but i just i feel like Whenever I sharpen lip pencils, they never retain its original shape. Maybe it's because the the like the sharpeners that I've been using, which I have two, they're really old and they're just like not great. But I just feel like it makes it it makes your life so much easier when you have a retractable lip, lip liner like this one. When you're almost down to the bottom, you can always just like twist the bottom of it to get more of the products, and then if you know you can re retract it too. So I think this is really really incredible and amazing, and I would recommend this in a heartbeat and I'm never gonna go back to MAC lip pencils again. Number three is this ponytail extension by Pretty Party. This is a game changer guys. You guys might have seen a tutorial that I posted on my Instagram feed or just here on my YouTube channel but I recently learned about this ponytail extension and just fell in love with it. Now, this one was gifted to me, but I'm not talking about it because of that. I'm truly blown away by how easy it is to use this extension and that's why I'm talking about it. This extension is different than any other extensions actually because of this tip area here. And it actually also extends all the way here. So there's this very bendable tip, uh, some maybe like a wire or metal bendable thing that goes from the tip of the extension all the way down to like maybe around here which makes it super easy to create that extended high ponytail look or any type of super cool hairstyles in just like four or if most like five super simple easy steps all you have to do is do a regular ponytail put this like the, this end part through your natural ponytail and then hold it while you wrap it around your ponytail and the extension itself and then you're just gonna use the end to tuck it in that simple guys i mean if you want to check out the tutorial that i have i'm gonna like do a card somewhere but like it's super simple and i also recently learned how to do a low bun and it was also like equally very very simple right now the extension is going on sale and i also have a discount code that you guys can use to take additional 20 percent off which i'll i'll show it right here and then also in the description box below. Moving on to number four, it's this Perfect Edges Hair Gel. Now this is something that I purchased because I wanted to teach myself how to do the sleek ponytail look. I have a lot of flyaways that just won't tame with water or any other like hairspray. So I have a very, very high forehead and I also have like some bald spots on my temples. Maybe it doesn't look like too bad to you guys, but we're our own like worst critics. So this has always been my insecurity and I've been made fun of when I was younger because of how big my forehead is. And especially when I wear like a high ponytail, it just really looks like I like it just makes my forehead even more exaggerated. 
So when I was trying to learn how to do the sleek ponytail look to make my forehead look a little bit smaller and then I learned about edges. So if you don't know what edges are, it's basically a technique that people use to kind of shape their baby hairs to structure their face or just to stylize it. But in my case, I learned how to do edges and I do edges to, you know, minimize, <laughs> make my forehead look a little bit smaller. Anyways, to do edges well, you have to use a hair gel, uh, something that goes on clear and will hold your hair in place for a long time. When I first learned how to do it, I tried my husband's foam mat or just hair, it was not a gel, but a hair product. Um, it, it did the job, but it wasn't too great because the hair product was actually white and it made it seem like my hair was super greasy and I didn't wash it for a long time and I also had dandruff. So that was not working at all. I found this one in my local Target and I just got this. This one is specifically for creating those perfect edges and I just used like a regular old toothbrush that I use specifically for my hair. Um, dip it in here and then I just create my edges with that. I also use it to kind of tame any flyaways when I, when I'm, um, oh my goodness. Speaking of which, I actually just saw my monitor and saw that my hair is just crazy. So this is what I mean. It's like, I, <laughs> I would just go like this. <laughs> I feel like Ariel with a fork. Anyways, okay. I hope my face doesn't turn red. So this is really great guys. That's what I'm trying to say. Number five and the final on the list of our beauty products is these uh, NYX eye makeup products. I'll start with this one. This is the NYX Epic Wear Waterproof Eyeliner in white. It just looks like this and when you open it, it's like a white eyeliner. And for being super inexpensive, this is actually quite high quality. And I, I purchased it because I saw this makeup look on Pinterest and wanted to recreate it. It's not like an everyday look, but I would definitely wear it again on like a special occasion when I feel super like funky or fun. <laughs> it was great because it was highly long wear. I wore it the whole day and it didn't smudge or it, it, it just didn't like wear off or smudge or become oily or anything like that. It stayed on the whole day. It was also super easy to take off. I used micellar water to take my makeup off and this was just super easy to take it off with just that. This was great. And the next NYX product is this jumbo eye pencil in the color yogurt. I pretty much use this every single day and I use it more as a high highlighter. Um, I use this to kind of highlight the corners of my eyes and also down my nose bridge and then my cupid's bow. It makes it super easy for me to control where I want my highlighter to go and the shine is not a joke, like here. Both highly, highly recommend. The next five products are non-beauty related. Some I'm gonna be able to show you guys like while holding it, others I'm just gonna feature it as a B-roll clip. Number six is this collagen peptides powder that I got on Amazon. So I posted this couple of my IG stories recently and I received so many DMs of like people asking me what it was about, like where, can, where they can get this, like what brand is the best and all of that. Um, so I wanted to talk about it here. For those who aren't too familiar with collagen supplements, collagen is the most abundant protein that we have in our bodies. It's the major component of connected tissues that make up several body parts, including tendons, ligaments, skin, and muscle. And collagen has several important functions. So there are a couple of benefits. I think there are major, like major six benefits of taking collagen supplement, but actually I pretty much take it for this one benefit that I really really super duper care about. So if you guys know me at all, you know that I, I'm like such a nerd when it comes to anti-aging and col taking collagen supplement actually helps with that. As our body ages, we kind of lose collagen production. It actually decreases over time and what that's gonna do is that it's gonna form wrinkles and increase the dryness of our skin for really like making it look more aged and there are several research out there that kind of shows that taking collagen supplement on a regular basis it actually helps slow down that aging process so I decided to take collagen supplements and did some research and I chose this particular one because it was the number one seller on Amazon in that category I think because it has the highest amount of hydrolyzed collagen peptides in one scoop compared to all the other collagen peptides available also not that it affects me personally but it's non GMO verified keto and paleo friendly. It's also gluten free. 
I take it every single day with my coffee in the morning and it's super soluble. It mixes very well with my coffee, whether it's hot, cold, or cold. It's supposed to be tasteless, but to be honest, I think I, I do taste a little bit of something something there. It's not a good or a bad taste. It's more like a blend taste, but I just noticed there's like a difference whenever I include collagen in my coffee. Highly recommend this, guys. Number seven is this air fryer that we got on Amazon. So I don't know why, but when air fryers like first became super popular, I wasn't too excited about it and I decided not to get it even though my husband wanted to buy it. Maybe it's because at the time I didn't really eat a lot of like junk food. I didn't really eat fried anything. But now that I have become a little bit more lenient with my diet, I do enjoy eating some fries and you know, even fried vegetable tempuras and all of that. Also pizza, I've decided to invest in an air fryer. So I'm sure you guys know this, but air fryers are basically and the countertop convection ovens. It uses hot air and minimum to zero oil to cook your food and gives it the texture of deep fried food. Once you get a hang of how to use it, it's actually quite easy to use and it's a lot healthier because you're using less oil. You can make things like chicken or chickenless nuggets, french fries, pizza, tempura, fried veggies, breakfast, you can even make a cake. And my husband and I, we tried a couple different recipes and we decided to try more because our air fryer actually came with a pretty great recipe book when we <sighs> So Actually, something happened with my computer or the video file and I lost the final clips of this video and decided to shoot it again the night before that I'm supposed to upload it. So bear with me, guys. So where were we? The air fryers. The air fryers came with a pretty good recipe book and so my husband and I decided to try it out. And so far, we've tried making the avocado float and bacon, as well as steak and salmon. And except for maybe the steak, everything else came out so beautifully. And it was so easy to cook. All we had to do was like put all the ingredients that were being cooked inside the air fryer and just press like a couple buttons and it just cooked it itself. Especially for the bacon, I think it was so amazing because it retained that really crispy kind of texture, deep fried texture, but we didn't use any oil, like literally zero oil. So how amazing is that? We actually named our air fryer Daft Punk because it kind of resembles you know, like the masks that that punk DJs are wearing and we are pretty happy with our purchase. So if you guys are in the market for an air fryer, I highly recommend this one. I think my husband actually does a lot of research when he buys into these type of appliances. Uh, so I can guarantee that this is probably one of the best options available on the market. Number eight is, I don't even know what to call it. So I'm just gonna call it a sink trash Thingamajigga. We bought this when we were just shopping at our local Japanese market. I have seen something similar that my mom and my grandma used back in Korea. It's basically a little trash bag that lives inside of your sink that opens and closes so you can just discard all of your food waste right when you are doing your dishes versus having to you know try to bring it all the way to the trash and kind of risk the liquid dripping on the ground or you know it's just like an extra step that you have to do when you're putting it in the trash i specifically chose this one and i knew that it was going to work because the trash can itself has several holes in it or it has like holes all over on it so when you're discarding your food waste or liquid or whatnot it actually drains all the liquid out when it becomes full you can tie it up and then throw it out in your larger trash bin or if it smells too bad you can choose to discard it in the trash chute i think this is a super convenient way for us to do our dishes it's one of those products that of course you can live without it, but once you try it out, it actually makes your life a lot easier. Finally, number nine and 10. I grouped them together because they are kind of in the same or similar categories. If you guys have seen my most recent vlog that I posted this Monday, it was about making a DIY vintage gold mirror. I basically upcycled our basic IKEA black mirror into this beautiful golden vintage mirror that kind of resembles the one behind my back which is from anthropology the difference is this one from anthropology is 350 dollars but the one that i i would have gotten which is the full body one is like almost a thousand dollars whereas when i did it myself diy style all i had to buy was 
uh, four different items and including the two that I'm going to be talking about. One is a metallic spray paint. They have so many different colors of this spray paint and it's so easy to use. It was my first time spray painting it, but I didn't have any trouble using it. All I had to do was just to go to a well-ventilated area and take all the places that I didn't want the paint to get on and shake it a little bit and then just spray it on. And voila, you already have like a you can turn anything into metallic gold or white or anything. I feel like it would be a great way to upcycle any of the furniture that you already have. Or if you want to purchase like a, uh, something from the vintage store or you're getting a secondhand furniture, you can always use this paint to kind of make it your own style. Then in the same group and our final number 10 is this wooden centerpiece. So a vintage gold mirror would be nothing without the centerpiece. And ever since I posted this on my Instagram and on my YouTube channel, so many people were asking how I was able to make this. Uh, because the whole thing actually cost me under $50 and this wooden piece itself, it was, I believe it was like $33. There's so much you can do with this. I personally use this as uh, the top decorating piece on my mirror, but I've seen people use it on their cabinets, on their walls or on their desks. Wherever you want to use it, I just feel like it's such a cool way to kind of add a little bit of something something to your design element. So that's something that I wanted to include uh, to conclude our video for today. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed the 10 products that I shared that I thought were exceptional this month. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. This way I will know to make content that are similar to this one. Also, I would love to stay connected with you guys. If you guys want, please follow me on Instagram and send me a DM. I always answer all my DMs and I love to connect with my YouTube family on Instagram as well. As always, if you guys want to see any other kinds of videos, you can just leave them on the comment section below. I will always uh, be listening to you guys and trying to provide content that is entertaining and informative and just, just Wholesome and great, that's what I want to do. As a final reminder or an announcement, I do have a try on haul that's coming up. I'm wearing actually one of the pieces from it. It's a Princess Polly try on haul for their newest summer collection that just came out. So if you guys want to see that video, I will be publishing it next week. So thank you so much. I will see you guys in my next video. Ciao.